Evening. West Nab. 20 minutes from my house and I've never been here before. Mental. Absolutely mental. Also, I can't figure out how to clip this onto my jacket without this falling on the floor, so I'm holding it. Like a, um, like an idiot, I suppose. Anyway, welcome to another video from the beautiful Peak District I'm in, actually. I never realized the Peak District was only 20 minutes from my house. But it's a beautiful evening. There's a bit of a breeze up here. And I've come up to do some photography. Whoa. How mint is this? How have I never been here? Oh, that's a nice seat. Yeah. Legs crossed. Yeah. Right, as you've seen from the title of this video, have I fallen out of love with wild camping and am I gonna stop? Obviously, no I'm not, and no I haven't. But, my mindset has changed a little bit. I'm gonna stop putting pressure on it because I said it a couple of times, if you listen to my podcast, why haven't you, if you haven't? If you listen to my podcast, you'll have heard me talking to several guests about, I don't wanna go wild camping because I feel like I have to make a video because that's not why I do it. Wild camping is an escape, wild camping is what I love doing. Wild camping is my release and kind of escape from reality. However, my other passion is photography. I'm a wedding photographer, I'm a commercial photographer, and I am a video creator as well. I've got a YouTube channel, I do wedding videos, and I want to make videos. And today, I had a free night and I wanted to make a video, but I didn't want to go camping because, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it for some reason. But I felt like I couldn't make a video because I couldn't go, because I didn't want to go camping. So it's kind of the, it was kind of a role reversal. Do you get me? Am I making sense? Yeah. So I don't want to go camping because I have to make a video. But then I don't want to have to go camping just because I want to make a video. When my other passions in life are photography and I want to make videos about photography. And the reason I started the YouTube channel was to kind of document stuff. I made a couple of vlogs with me and the kids. Then I ended up going camping and it turned into a bit of a camping and outdoor channel. Um, but I've got other passions in life that I want to capture. And the channel is not big enough... Um, for, for it to kind of hamstring me into into one genre of filmmaking. So I thought I'd come out tonight and I'd make a video about one of my other passions, which is photography. And seeing as this is on my doorstep, it's a beautiful evening. Hopefully we'll get a mint sunset that I'm going to do that. And it made me think about kind of the direction that this YouTube channel is going in. I mentioned on my last video that I was going to start a separate YouTube channel all about my photography. But why, why do I need to do that? Well, this channel is called Yorkshire Lad Outdoors. I've toyed with the idea of actually just changing it back to my name. Midges. And just calling it Ryan Hunter because what was that? Did that come up on camera? That thing had a saddle on it. I'm just changing it back to Ryan Hunter because the channel is about me. I watch videos, my favourite videos that I watch, uh, my channels, um, I like Wild Camping 101, like Ash Outdoors, like East Anglia Bushcraft, Hayes, I like Paul Mesner. I watch a lot of other channels like Peter McKinnon. I watch Christian Schaefer, who's an American YouTuber, James Popsis, Thomas Heaton, Henry Turner, the list goes on. And the reason I watch them over the thousands of other people who create similar content is because of the person that they are and their personality and I feel like they're people that I can gel with that people I'd go for a beer with and just people I want to watch and interest to take an interest in their life and by no means I'm saying everyone who watches this channel has an interest in anything I do they might just be here for the camping and if you are apologies but I want to start creating videos that are bring out more of myself and kind of spread the net a bit further than just wild camping because 
I don't have the time and the resource to go out wild camping four or five times a month. Um, I've got other commitments and other things I want to do. So, that's why I put that title down. Let me know what you think. Am I overthinking it? Do you understand what I'm on about? Have you all unsubscribed now because you know there's no tent involved in this? There's no gear loadouts? I don't know. And if you're still watching, let's go do some photography because we are in a pretty awesome spot. Right, so, I mean, look at the light out there. It's absolutely kicking off. It doesn't really do it justice on the GoPro, but you are mounted on top of my camera. I'm pretty much gonna focus on these rocks here in the foreground. It's a pretty straightforward composition. The sky is booting off over there. I've got this lovely path, which is like a leading line up to where the sun is and all that light over there. Block focus there. Settings are F7.1. 250th of a second shutter speed for anyone who cares. Let's go manual focus because autofocus doesn't want to play a ball. There you go, sharp as attack. Bosh. First shot of the night. So I'm gonna get a nice shot of this can and make sure it doesn't break the horizon. Again, F7.1, focus on those hills in the background. Position the can on the left third. One hundredth of a shutter speed, second, one hundredth of a second shutter speed, wallop, there's your dinner. <sighs> I just did a big bit to camera, um, but you won't have heard it because I didn't, pl I, I plugged the microphone for the GoPro into my camera and I plugged the other end into the GoPro and the microphone wasn't plugged in, so you probably didn't hear any commentary of my last one and anyway, forget it, it wasn't that important. Um, I've moved off the top so i was up there where am i up there before on the top of there um, and i've just come down into this stunning valley the sun is starting to dip below kind of that cloud now we're going to get some lovely color in the sky so my next shot um I'm just having fun here. <clears throat> I'm just having fun. Just walking around, taking some snaps with my camera. I've got no real kind of bangers that I would classify, but it's just fun. It's good to scout out. I think the conditions would be incredible if you get some mist up here on a morning. Um, but I don't know, I quite like this one. So I'm just gonna use this kind of fence here. It's a nice leading line to get the heather in. We've got that lovely rock at the end and then out into the distance where we should get some lovely colour in the sky. It's not going to light pull up any trees, but it's all right. F. I'm going to go F10 to try and get a bit of sun blur. Sun. And then one fortieth of a second. I'm handheld at... Just under 50 mil, so it should be fine for motion blur and bosh. In fact, that's not worked. I hate that. Let's get lower. I've got 24 mil. Actually, that's pretty nice. F10, 140th of a second, 24 mil. Yeah. 
I'm literally running back to where I started at the trig point because look at that sky man it is booting off and I want to get I think the same shot that I started with with those rocks in the foreground Whew. sun is starting to kick off here it's just lighting this grass here so I'm right in at 70 mil I get this in the foreground that beautiful sky in the background I'm at f8 to kind of keep this in shadow at the front I'm actually going to get a shot of the trig point with the sun side light in it at F28. Let's look at the colour booting off on those rocks. One five hundredth of a second, focused in on the trig, Bosch. All right, landscape, uh, we've gone portrait. We're at 24 mil. I'm gonna bring my F14 to try and get a bit of a sunburst effect. Ah, there's so much lens flare from this. And I'm not even in photo mode F14 I'm getting a little sunburst let me move my camera again just going to focus in on these rocks get everything in the foreground let me get a bit closer The foreground and then that sunburst in the background. Bosh. How are you having that? That light was amazing. I just ran to the top uh, to get those pictures. I got a couple of pictures of some lads mountain biking up as well. And um, had a good chat with them at the top. Um, and I got another couple of them heading back down the hill. So if they're any good and they turn out all right, I'll put them on screen. <clears throat> but... So um, yeah, again, different format to the video of probably what you're used to. And if you're expecting something else and you subscribed for the wild camping videos only, then I um, apologize if this video wasn't for you. Um, there are gonna be more videos like this coming up on the channel. So I just wanna um, be honest with you that kind of the direction of the channel could ebb and flow, kind of depending on how I'm feeling and what I wanna do. So. Um, if it's not for you anymore, I completely appreciate that and no hard feelings. If you do like the video, leave me a comment in the comment section, obviously, um, and just give me some feedback and kind of, if the videos works for you, if you wanna see more videos like this, um, yeah, leave me some feedback. If you don't like it, just don't say it, don't be a dickhead, just don't watch it. Um, but I've enjoyed it, I'm gonna make more and I'm definitely gonna be up here for a wild camp, so there will be a wild camp video filmed from here. And on that note, I'm going to head back down to the car and back home. I'll be home in 20 minutes. Madness. See ya.